Okay, so we're doing making armor templates now. Uh, we're trying to design a template that's going to fit whatever part of the body, whether it's the forearm or the shoulder or any real um, part of your body you're going to want to be armored. The trick here is we want to make sure that we get the dimensions right so when we make the template and we try on the template, we know that when we translate it to um, metal or leather, that it's still going to work and you're still going to be able to do what you need to. So the first step is taking measurements off your body. We're going to use the tape, this fancy tape. It doesn't need to be that fancy. You can just use um, regular old painter's tape, blue or um, cream, green, yellow, doesn't matter. Just something that sticks to your body that doesn't take off a lot of skin when you're going to put the whole set up. So right now you can see Trying to dimension my forearm. There we go. Now we're lined up. I'm going to fold this tab over so I know that that's not part of me. Right? And then we're going to measure the forearm circumference. So as we sort of get ourselves packed up and ready to go, we can go a little lower, get the full forearm. So now you can see that we have our dimensions here. And on the opposite side of the forearm here, and the forearm here, it's open so we can fit our forearm in our template. Okay. So now, you want to take these dimensions off, and place them on your board so you can see what you're doing. Obviously, you would be doing this on a table. So is it seven? There we go. And you want to label your components, okay? so. Things you won't remember later is this is my forearm length and this is my forearm circumference. If you don't label them, you're going to go, oh God, I measured it, but I don't know what it is. So let's write that down. This is forearm circumference. We're just going to write circ. And this is forearm length. Forearm length. So, and then we're also going to need the wrist circumference. Okay. So, now we've got to translate that to a piece of paper. It's not rocket surgery. So, we'll just put paper on the board so you can see what's happening. Separate these out. So I usually start with the forearm at the bottom. And I make sure to fold it in half so I know where center is. You're going to need to know that when you tape your length down. I'm putting a strong indicator so you can see where the center line actually is, right? And then we're going to take our forearm and we're going to line that up with the center, like so. Forearm lined up with center, like so. We're going to take our wrist circumference, fold that in half as well. And then so you can see, this is where our line is, right there. So at this point, we have this rhombus shape here, and we just need to connect the lines with the ruler. Like so, and like so. Now, we have our rough template. Scissor time. I always round the corners on these. 
Um, I used to leave them square, but as you realize when you're wearing armor, sharp corners tend to stab you. You don't want to incorporate that into your design unless you're making a very stabby death type piece of armor. So this corner is rounder than this corner. You can check that by folding it in half. If you want it to be mirrored, you can and trim it all at once. Humans are not symmetrical. Right there. Thank you. Humans are not symmetrical. Um, we wish we were. We're totally not. Uh, when you bend this way or that way, different sections of your form are going to be bigger. They're going to favor the interior more than the exterior on some parts of your body. So just know when you put it on, you're actually going to put it on. So I'm just taping it to myself like so. So you can see that it fits my arm. It's not beautiful but it fits. And then you can see the gap we have on the interior, right? So you want to make sure you have full range of motion. And if you don't, maybe you need to consider moving it further down on your forearm, like so. I can move my wrist. I can move my elbow. There's a little bit of contact here. So anytime you work on your template, you're going to just stick it on and move it around. And then wherever it's the wrinkliest, so like, come here, camera wrinkly that's where you may need to do some trimming so if it's on your right arm you'll find that you need to cut this wing and if it's on your left arm you need to cut this wing it's really up to what you're doing so now we have our paper template for our forearms you can translate this to tag board or leather or steel depending on what your next step is i believe for this example we're going to just go straight to vegetable tan leather and do a simple forearm uh, bracer